Hey guys, what's up? It's Angelina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a little video in which I basically shop my stash and I also wanted to test out a few new products as well. I also wanted to do something that I've seen a few creators on here do, which is basically putting all of my eyeshadow palettes into a little spinner so that way I'm able to randomly select a palette so that way I'm hopefully going to start getting more use out of my makeup collection. I think when it comes to makeup, I'm just trying to get more creative and back into it. I find that whenever we're like going towards fall, that's when I want to play with my collection a lot more. So the setup is kind of new. And I'm not sure if I'm loving it or if it's going to stay like this, but so far this is what we got. And honestly, I don't mind it. I just think there's something a little bit off, but let me know if you guys have any suggestions. Okay, so we're headed over to my drawers. As you guys can see, I have quite a bit of stuff, but I want to shop my stash. As you can see, I have way more foundation than anyone needs to have. Honestly, this one is new to me, but it's so good. I just don't know if it's going to be good for this video. I mean, it's really good for every day, though. How about we just use the Dior Forever Skin Glow in the shade 4W? So, this drawer has face powders. I'm going to pull. We have a face powder already, but we don't have, like, a setting powder. I'm going to put my Kosas because I just love this and I know that it works. We will dive into the palettes later. Okay, for primer, we already have a primer pull today, a new one that I just got. So I think that we should probably pull some... Let's see. Ooh, how about... What do we want to prep with today? Let's prep with my Elemis Pro Collagen. This is a really good one, and I know it's going to be, you know, worth it. So let's prime with this. Okay, so this drawer has highlighters, concealers, and brow stuff. So, for highlighter, obviously I don't know what eye look we're going for. But I do, honestly, I want to dive back into this because I haven't. This is the Kosas Glow Ivy. I think we're going to dive back into this just to try it for, you know, the second time since buying it. Okay, let's just use my Dior Backstage Concealer today. Honestly, for mascara... Let's just go into my fan fest for mascara today because honestly, this is a good mascara and I haven't used it in a while, so let's use it before it dries out. Okay, in here we have a ton of bronzers, as you guys can see. I think I want to dive into. Hmm. Let's get two. Let's get a cream and let's get a powder. Let's use my Merit bronzer stick. I haven't dived into this Fenty Beauty one, so let's try that. Okay, I have a few new blushes already pulled, but again, I don't know what I'm going to get for eyeshadow, so I kind of want some options. I think we should pull this from MAC. I haven't used this in a while. This is from MAC. This is in the shade Lovejoy, so let's pull this. And then from Charlotte Tilbury, let's pull my MAC Beauty Blush Wand. Look at my gigantic lip collection. It's honestly insane. But uh, I want to get some options, so I'm going to pull a bunch of liners. So we're going to pull from Etude House, the Fixing Tint, and then my Patrick Ta Oshi Single Lipstick. As you guys can see, I picked quite a few things from my collection. Some things that I really haven't gotten much use out of or maybe used once or twice, which is kind of crazy. But once you get into having a bigger collection, that just seems to be the way that it goes. Lately, I've been using my REN Global Protection Day Cream and this has been great for every day because REN is perfect if you have sensitive skin because it is dermatologist approved, which obviously I have. I have acne and redness and I've really been liking this. I've honestly, I'm getting through it if you guys can see that little dent and I love the packaging because with this packaging you know that you're gonna get through the entire product but that's what I have all over the face already. Nothing much has changed with my brows except I'm using a different brow wax that I got from BoxyCharm. So we're gonna use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I, as you guys can see, I've gotten through quite a bit of it. It's just not a product that I reach for very often. I don't know. I think it's a texture thing. I just don't really love super sticky primers and I get it. It's hydrating. It's tacky. It makes your base last, but there's just something about it that makes me not reach for it. 
It's a really nice primer. It's very hydrating, but it's just not something that I reach for, unfortunately. But it's not a bad product. I need to definitely get more use out of it, so this is my attempt. I actually had pulled this serum from Elemis that I forgot to use, but honestly, it's fine. As you guys can see, I've been getting through this. It's a really good lightweight serum, especially if you're going to go in and do your makeup after. I think that this is a great product, and as you guys can see, I have no problems using this. I just thought it would be fun to pull, but I forgot about it. Benefit released a couple of new things that I wanted to test out. So we have from Benefit, we have the Professional Matte Primer. So this is new, and I think I want to put this in my T-zone area. I think that this is going to be perfect for the nice long summer days that we still have because we're going into August, which is crazy. Okay, that's kind of not the consistency that I expected, but I'm going to just... Okay, it smells really, really good. Okay, and as you guys can see, that kind of like dried down. I'm trying to see if I notice a difference in my pores. Maybe a little bit, like maybe they look a little bit better, but I'm not seeing a huge difference. We don't know what kind of eye look we're going to get today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this eye primer that I haven't tried yet, but I got in a BoxyCharm, I mean, or a Ipsy. I feel like they're kind of interchangeable these days because I don't ever remember which one is which because they're like combined. So let's go ahead and prime the lid before we do anything. And then let's just start with eyeshadow today. So what I did was I actually put in all of my eyeshadow palettes, hopefully every single one, into this little randomizer. And as you guys can maybe see, it says pick a palette so let's pick a palette and let's hope that this allows me to be like more creative and just better overall at using my collection <gasps> okay we got the natasha denona alloy palette so i'm gonna go ahead and pick that out i feel like this is the midi palette that i have like the five pan one so let me get that this is not an exciting palette. Maybe not really what I was going for when I wanted to do this. I kind of wanted something that encouraged me to branch out and maybe do something more colorful. But nonetheless, I just want to get used to my eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Alloy palette from Natasha Denona. It's a five shadow palette. And as you guys can see, it's really nice. I think this is a really good everyday palette for the average gal who likes to do eyeshadow but i haven't gotten much use of it because i just haven't been wearing a ton of shadow but honestly this is kind of like a perfect palette for me to be honest because i'm loving these like cool tone browns so let's just go in with this nude shade all over the lid and these are pigmented from what i remember they're also pretty powdery so be careful with that This is like a really nice base shade for me because it's almost like my natural eyelid color, just like a little bit better. And you can see how pigmented that is. So I'm gonna go in with this cool tone taupey brown and kind of just focus this in the outer area of my lid. We're just going to kind of start with that and then I'm going to go in with this shade all over the lid. It's so buttery and smooth. That's why I look, love her formula. So I'm sure you can see I tried to like grunge it up a bit. Like it's definitely... A lot more like smokier on the outer corners and maybe like a little bit messy but i'm gonna fix that when i go in and like actually conceal and do you know face makeup but i really just kind of want to really like bring it out towards the end of my eye and honestly i'm like loving it i think this is such an underrated palette like also, just these tones in general, because they can seem kind of boring, 
but I feel like they're also very pretty and like really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer. We're using the Dior Forever. I also am gonna mix it with my Yenta concealer because I've been trying to get some use out of this and this is a really good concealer and a good formula. It's just a really nice brightening shade on me. So I think with this kind of deeper sultry look, I think it'll really make a difference. And then I'm going to go in with my Yensa concealer, just a little bit in this inner corner area. And then I'm just going to take my blending brush that I was using, and we're just going to kind of make this area not as harsh. So I pulled my Dior Forever Skin Glow in the shade 4W. Yeah. I don't get a ton of use out of this. Honestly, I wish I like did, but as you guys saw, I have a very extensive foundation collection, so it kind of keeps me from using things. I'm gonna go in with my Merit brush. I have been loving this for face products. It's honestly such a good brush for foundation. And as you guys can see, I just went in with one pump. So this shade particularly is my summer shade and you can kind of see that it's definitely like a little bit more warm toned kind of like how my skin looks when I get tanned and I'm going to go in with another pump to do my forehead just to kind of blend into the concealer just a tad so it's not you know a stark difference but honestly that went on so nice and I feel like that was very easy to use medium coverage is kind of what I would say this gets to. I have a couple different bronzer options. I have from Fenty Beauty this Island Ting bronzer, which is a powder, so I can set with this. And then I have my Merit Stick, which, again, we pulled these before I knew what was going on with the eyes. I would have probably pulled something a little bit more intense when it comes to contour and bronzing, but it's fine. So when it comes to this Merit Bronzer Stick, I'm sure you guys can see it's very natural. Very, very natural. You cannot really go wrong with this, especially if you're someone who maybe is like not into wearing a ton of makeup or you're scared of using bronzer. I think this is definitely for you. But for me, it doesn't do a whole lot for me, to be honest. Okay, we're just going to use this brush because it's clean. But like I said, I think this is made for people who prefer something a lot more natural and maybe someone who just doesn't really want to think about it when it comes to doing cream bronzer because obviously creams can be scary and it's easy to you know get a little bit carried away with them if you're not sure how to use it but I just don't really love the Merit bronzer stick for me because it's just not practical just because I like love a good solid cream bronzer but that looks really good on the nose i will say so i'm actually going to use that same really nice fluffy brush this is from laura mercier actually and we are just going to use that to kind of go all over the face kind of like setting those areas but also not really because when it comes to bronzer i just love putting it all over the face and not really you know sticking to one particular region so for mac we have the love joy mineralized blush i haven't gotten a ton of use out of it i like that it's like a baked formula i think this is perfect for that look that i have going on on the eyes because it's the perfect amount of blush it's still very neutral and very bronzy but it's not overdoing it. I didn't use my Kosas Glow IB. I honestly bought this on a whim, okay? They were having a sale and I was like, oh my god, I have to get something because it's a sale, which is such a stupid reason. And I got this and I literally only wore it maybe once. So I'm just gonna kind of warm it up on the back of my finger and then just put it in my high points. The thing about this is it's very much glittery and 
I really don't mind it. Like that looks really nice, especially because there are certain products I use more so for like photograph photography, <laughs> photography purposes. Um, like if I'm going to an event and I know I'm going to be photographed and there's definitely a place for that in my particular collection. I can't say the same for everybody, obviously, but for me, like when I go to brand events and stuff like that, and I know that they're going to be taking pictures and photos and stuff, I think that like these products really work well in that scenario, but for an everyday option, this just isn't my typical everyday option it's very blinding some people said that they like hated it it was like so bad i really don't think it's that bad so let's set everything with our new professional power powder it's a matte and blur loose setting powder so let's go ahead and see if this does everything that i want it to do i think that's cute you can see the powder on the inside the tiktok setup and the YouTube setup because they're both like completely different and especially in the way it looks in the camera is so different like in my TikTok camera I'm so much more like yellow and then here I'm like the way that I look in real life so benefit released a matte and blur powder let's try it out and as you guys can see I'm looking a little dewy and a little pory okay which I don't love I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna use a one size puff Oh my god, actually, hold on. That looks so good. Oh my god, like, look. Look at this side compared to this side. That's crazy. Okay, honestly, I'm so impressed. Like, that looks amazing on the skin. You guys, look at that. That did such a good job like such a good job i'm honestly blown away because benefit is obviously i've never tried any of their like setting powders not even sure if i know about any other setting powders prior to this release but this looks amazing i went ahead and i did my mascara it's definitely drying out so i feel like with this look it might work because it's a little bit more grungy it's not really like a super defined look but this is a good mascara i just need a new one obviously but i'm not gonna get a new one we're gonna finish the ones that we have i'm gonna go in with my tarte fake awake this is just a nude liner i'm gonna go ahead and put that in the waterline i love nude liners i feel like they make the biggest difference and like they just make your eyes look so much bigger wider and you just look like healthier i was gonna say happier you just look healthier and just better overall so like i've been loving these liners this one is new to me but just any nude liner will do let's go in with my elf tiana major 9 this is just a deep brown the huda beauty lip contour 2.0 in the shade pinky brown yeah that's like too pink Patrick Ta Oshi oh, Single Lipstick. I love this lipstick. When I first got it, I was using it all the time. I just kind of forget about it because I have a lot of nudes and just lipstick in my collection in general. But this is such a good one and honestly one of my favorite, all-time favorite nudes. Not too much, but you guys can see it's like a really nice, kind of like a warm tone, salmon-y kind of nude, which I like love unpopular opinion but because i have straight lashes whenever the mascara tends to dry up it just ends up working so much better for my lashes i think we could maybe go in with a little bit more blush what do you think definitely a little bit more blush for sure just to kind of like add some color i feel like the products that we picked out today were very like neutral which honestly works with this makeup look Okay guys, so that is it for today's Shop My Stash and my little palette roulette video. I am loving it. I think that everything looks so good and so snatched. And this is definitely a look that I could see myself wearing on a day today, to be honest. Or like if I'm just trying to like go out for dinner or something. This is totally a look that I would use. Oh, 
let's do one thing that we didn't do. I didn't use my closest powder. Add some more airbrushness to what we got going on. This is such a good powder. Like, one of my favorite setting powders. Well, I would say, is it a setting powder? One of my favorite, like, pressed powder. I had so much fun doing this. I loved that we got two test products for my collection that I haven't tried in a while. And also, you know, got to play around with a palette that we picked at random. I'm definitely going to be doing more of these Shop My Stash videos or these, like, palette roulette videos in which I just pick a random palette for my collection and have to figure it out. I am definitely leaning towards doing more fun and creative makeup looks on my channel. And I feel like, you know, there's always a ton of new releases, but I do love shopping my stash and showing you guys that you don't always need to pick up the latest release. You can use what you have at home. And especially when it comes to me, I need to remind myself that I have a ton of really good makeup that is so amazing and such good quality and I should get use out of it. And I love this because it forces me to be creative. It forces me to think outside of the box a little bit in terms of how I'm gonna use certain products and stuff like that. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any video ideas, definitely let me know. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for short form content and I'll see you guys here next week. Bye.